What's up, y'all? How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing well, and I hope everybody enjoyed their uh, Thanksgiving feast. I know that I did. I got plenty of leftovers in the fridge, so um, this coming week's going to be full of leftover sandwiches and all that fun stuff, turkey sandwiches and all the... I keep thinking of turkey sandwiches, but how many ways can you eat turkey? So uh, we're going to find out this next week as we uh, mow through the leftovers still. So I hope everybody enjoyed and had a good time. What do we got going on today? Uh, shave. Shave tonight. Um, we're going to use the uh, citrus cedar pre-shave oil tonight. Um, I'll be using um, bay rum. Bay rum after shave. And I'm going to also follow that up with, uh, you've seen it before, I'm just going to use them together, the bay rum um, aftershave. Bay rub soap and aftershave. All right. Uh, you know, I used Big Ben last week uh, for a blade, and um, I used that in the Parker 66R, and I really enjoyed it. So I'm going to use it again, Big, Big Ben blade. Uh, this time I will be using it in my Parker variant. And we're going to set this up at, I'm going to do three and a half. I got a little bit of growth on my face, so we're going to do a three and a half, and then we'll dial it down to about a one for, a, for just a cleanup pass. A three on that will pretty much get me where I want to be. Um, so, what did I do? I got, uh, I went ahead and put um, some Bay Rum. Um, shaving soap in my bowl <clears throat> and uh, we'll be using the Parker um, <clears throat> this is their marble um, black badger brush it's a huge brush I'll take some of that water out there and then straight into the bowl so did everybody enjoy the turkey dinner I uh, did we had uh, family over we had the mom and the dads uh, come over and we had a nice little feast and then everybody went to sleep took a nap tryptophan comas and we had a good nap also all right well I loaded up really good um, I just recently uh, took a shower and so, I'm not going to waste all that. That was on the side of the bowl. So, skin's all nice and hydrated and cleaned up. And, uh, I just couldn't waste that. All right, here we go. We're going to straight into a face lather with this. And I've used this brush before. Um, it is definitely my go-to brush. It is monstrous. It's labeled as a 22 millimeter knot black badger and this brush specifically by Parker is their marble handle and uh, it has a very heavy heavy marble handle on it as you can see there um, very nice uh, pearl like swirl to it it's just a beautiful handle and then the, and the end of it is a chrome chrome butt or backing on it looks very nice in the shaved in and uh, I mean it's it's a huge when you push that thing out I mean that's most of my face it is a big huge brush but I really enjoy it I'm gonna just put a little bit of water on this I have really enjoyed this brush it uh picks up the soap fast Helps do a very quick lather. And then when you just add a touch of water to it, uh, the lather will explode. And we'll just paint this on. Yeah, that's where we want to be. And you know what I just realized? I didn't even use my uh, shaving oil. I was going to put on citrus cedar shave oil and I forgot oh well not a big deal not really needed uh, 
I use it most most of the time when I have a little bit thicker or I've done like a I went a day without shaving I'll definitely use the uh, pre-shave oil but uh, if I if I'm going every single day um, I can't say I use it every single day so but definitely if I've got a, a day or a little bit more growth on the on the face I'll definitely use a pre-shave oil all right so Parker variant big Ben blade set at three and a half and this is a mild what I consider a mild blade um, and three and a half is not super aggressive it's about midway there which are I think the three and a half is what I would what I would put on par with what a general beginners you know your Merker uh, 34C um, your Edwin Jagger um, um, 89 um, and then the uh, and then the Mula that I have there it's about the same setting about three and a half so three and a half Parker variant here we go first pass with the grain And this is the second time I've used this blade. It's very, very smooth. It's just going through that like I said it's about it's right at one day worth of growth no problems that just feels good too it's a mild that's you know mid setting and a mild blade but very efficient it's not hanging up or anything so Not bad for a first pass. Gotta check the corners of that mustache. We're almost done with that thing. We got one more week to go. All right. Yeah, I like the way that feels. That was a good first pass. You know, it's a real good first pass. All right, here we go. Get ready for a second pass. <clears throat> so, um, I haven't had a haircut in a while. <clears throat> Matter of fact, I haven't had a haircut since I started the mustache. And uh, I don't plan on getting a haircut until the mustache comes off. And then I'll get a haircut. But I have noticed, I've noticed a lot of grays popping up. Up there in the, well I just added a little bit. If you didn't see them before, I just marked them with some uh, shaving cream. But uh. You know, when you keep short hair, and I do, uh, you don't see all that. I'll just pull some of this stuff out of here. Um, I keep short hair normally. And so, now that I've let my hair grow out, all them little grays are coming out too. And that is uh, definitely interesting. 
All right, it's good for a second pass there. It's off a little bit. All right, we're gonna dial this back down. Let's see, we're gonna dial it down to a to a one, and we'll go across the grain. Yeah, so seeing all them grays, man, I gotta get rid of this mustache and get my short hair back. I remember my mom and my dad when they started getting their grays in. And mom, your hair's getting white. And she looked at me and said, Yeah, it's getting white because of you. <laughs> and now that I have kids, I understand what she meant. And I don't think my hair has been this long on my head. Since I lived in Costa Rica. My wife and I, uh, when I left the military, had not lived together for a little over two years, maybe a little bit longer. Two employment, two years, yeah, something like that, about two years. And uh, when you don't live with somebody for two years, you forget a little bit about them. And so, I told my wife, I said, let's, uh, since we're leaving town and we gotta pack everything up anyway, for moving, and most of our stuff was in storage anyway while I was deployed. I said, why don't we leave it all in storage? Go find us a bungalow somewhere on a beach. This is maybe my cleanup pass. And uh, <clears throat> we'll find us a bungalow on the beach and then uh, just live in that for a while and uh, get to know each other again since we hadn't lived together for so long. And uh, she liked the idea, so she was at a, being back here in the States when I was deployed, she was able to get on the internet and look around for places to stay. And she found a place in Costa Rica. Uh, it was super inexpensive. And it wasn't right on the beach, but it wasn't far. So she, uh, one of the times I was able to contact her, she said, what do you think about this? When you get home, and I said, sounds good. Monthly rent for a little cabina that we were going to stay in was included electricity and water it wasn't all that expensive and uh, I said let's do it let's go for it so anyway we did and uh, we ended up staying uh, three months in Costa Rica <laughs> sleeping in hammocks and reading books and just hanging out. No kids, no worries. It was a good time. So anyway, that was the last time that I grew my hair out. And if I can think of, I can figure out how to put it in there, I'll, I'll throw a picture of me and the wife at Mount Arenal.
All right, so I'm gonna clean up real quick, and then we're gonna go to the aftershave, uh, or excuse me, we'll go to the Allen block, and then the aftershave, and we'll call it a wrap. So not too bad. Um, two passes with a touch up. Allen block on the base. You know, it's always good. I, I don't mind a little bit of burn with an Allen block, but you know, when you when you learn your technique and the right angles, um, and you can take an Allen block to your face afterward, and you just don't get any burn, that is a wonderful thing. But there's something about the slickness of that alum stone that just feels good. Even when it's not any burn, I don't know, it just feels good to slide across your skin. So no burn. Uh, it's a real mild blade uh, in the Parker variant and uh, for an adjustable razor, man, the Parker variant just does not get any better. All right, so we got the Allen block in there. I'm um, gonna clean up the brush a little bit while that's soaking in and doing its thing. Big exciting weekend. A lot of stuff happened this weekend that was a, uh, at least for football fans, was a lot of upsets this weekend. All right, let's rinse this off the face. Nice cold water to rinse that off. Is that pretty quick? Pretty quick low shave there. Right. After shave, here we go. So we're using the bay rum after shave. It only sounds fitting. You use bay rum shaving uh, soap. You use bay rum after shave. Give it a little shake, shake. Couple little drops, and that's not too much in the palm, but it's really good on the face. Very nice, very nice, very good for a, a night shave. Really enjoyed that one. So, all right. One last thing. Something I've been doing off camera, but since it's the last week and the last the last video I'll be doing, <laughs> at least with the mustache still being on my face at the conclusion, because next video this bad boy's coming off. All right. So what have I been doing? Well, I'm not a mustache grower. Um, I've had a mustache and stuff uh, before, I'm not a fan of it, but uh, so anyway, I've been grooming it just a little bit and using uh, um, my beard oil and stuff that I mix up also, and I got a little bit of it here. I just put it on a toothbrush, and a hot pink toothbrush. Tell me where else can you get it? What, what else could you use a toothbrush like this for? Green bristles, hot pink, it only seems fitting that it would be used for a mustache. So, you get to see me comb a mustache. It's not much of a mustache, but by God, it's mine. Anybody that's ever had a mustache and grown one knows that they can get kind of prickly, perry, and out of whack, dry out a little bit. Skin underneath the hair gets real dried out. And for guys who wear mustaches, constantly, if they ever shave it off, their skin's all kind of crackly and dried underneath. Well, beard oil helps prevent that. And so I've had a recipe for a while. 
And this whole month, I've actually been grooming my little mustache, my little beard oil. And it actually needs to be trimmed up and stuff, but I'm not going to do that because I'm going to let it grow a little bit crazier to the end of the week. And then I'll trim it up and style it just a little bit, what little bit there is, and uh, yeah, we'll have our fun with our little mustache contest at work. But anyway, so other than that, big upsets this week in football. So Miami lost. And probably the biggest upset of the week was, of course, uh, Alabama and Auburn. And I tell you what, I am a, you know, wait a minute. So go dogs. I, I got to say go dogs. Um, you know, another good week of football uh, beating Georgia Tech. But I think the, the game to watch was that Alabama-Miami game. And, Zach, man, I'm, I, I, I hate it. I was screaming Roll Tide, man. I know I'm a Dogs fan, but I was screaming Roll Tide. I really wanted to play uh, Alabama um, in the SEC Championship. But unfortunately, it's going to be Auburn. So as much as I do not like Auburn, I get to continue not liking Auburn, and I get to cheer against them next um, or coming up week. And uh, they're going to come here to Atlanta to the new Mercedes-Benz Stadium. So that's going to be awesome. I am not going to go. I've got front row seats right near my living room with a better view than any seat in that stadium. So I'm going to be right here cheering on my dogs and hoping for an SEC championship. Man, I did not see that upset coming. But you know, they did the same thing to us. You know, they just they, the defense just completely ruined our offense, got us all confused, out of whack. And, uh, and and so anyway, it was just kind of rough. I thought I was watching a repeat of the uh, Georgia-Auburn game. But uh, anyway, good luck to uh, the teams as they continue on. Um, other than that, that's it. Uh, recap. Let's do a recap real quick. Parker, variant, adjustable. First pass on a three, second pass on a one, clean up on a one. Big Ben. Big Ben. <laughs> Should have rinsed that off. There we go. Big Ben. Big Ben Blade right there. That was its second use. And it was a uh, very smooth, enjoyable shave. Uh, I was going to use a shave, uh, pre-shave oil, and I did not. I forgot. But we scooped a little bit out of the Bay Rum uh, shaving soap and got a nice lather. And then, of course, we followed it up with Bay Rum aftershave. And those two combinations were awesome. And then I got to groom my mustache with my pink and green toothbrush. Anyway, other than that, guys, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below. Hit the like button. Um, that's always awesome, and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for everybody's watching. Thanks for the subscribers. And uh, be safe out there. Enjoy your week. Keep your head up. Keep a smile on your face. We'll see you next week.